Uh, now let's look at some hydraulic check valves, um, where they're used, how they work, and some of the different types of check valve. Um, we've got a, it's a nice easy valve, we've got a nice symbol for a check valve. Um, so we've got a ball, shows a ball against a spring. Uh, fairly clear how it works. Uh, we can sometimes have a little line here, which um, is for pilot operation. That we can open it and this is a shuttle valve so we've got essentially two check valves we get pressure in either here or here and that opens the valve and the highest pressure is then fed to this line and the ball moves to shut off the lower pressure so this is what's happening inside sometimes we just have a little simple ball valve ball against a seat here body of the valve, we can have poppets or we can have more advanced poppets and combinations with the ability to control the speed at which it works and various pressure feeds. Um, this is actually a pilot operated valve uh, with A and B lines and sandwich plate, very common. We've got, um, these are the poppets, so the poppet works normally, the flow comes through in one direction and uh, then if you put pressure in the other direction you can see there's a feed that will push this piston along and open that valve so the flow will work backwards when there's pressure on the other side um, little shuttle here we've got two seats one there and one there so that's just some of the different variations and how they work uh, they'll probably look like this on the outside um, you can screw them into manifolds you might see them inside passageways or not see them at all. A uh, line mounted one just has fittings both ends, the poppets inside, another manifold mounted one might go inside a valve or inside um, a manifold. Here we've got our sandwich plate version which is the double PO check valves you can just see from the symbol there and this is a, a flapper plate one which is really very large might go in the return lines of some very large systems uh, not over common certainly not on smaller systems so what are they used for uh, preventing backflow essentially the flow will only go in one direction um, or anti-siphon so if you uh, put it in a return line with mean the backflow you'd have any power unit would have probably have a check valve to stop the pressure and the loads from the system being sent back into the power unit and driving the pump backwards. Anti-siphon would be in the return line to um, so that if you take a valve off you don't lose all your reservoir f volume of fluid um, coming back out through the pipes. Um, you can use them as low pressure relief valves with a spring in they'll um, maintain a pressure uh, against the spring and um, this is quite common in filter bypasses so if you want to do a um, filter clogging bypass such as the filter clogs up or is cold the fluid goes around the outside of it around a simple check valve just very cheap and cheerful characteristics aren't very good but they do the job um, PO checks particularly used for supporting loads um, so you get minimal leakage as we say spool valves will leak so if you put a PO check in there you'll hold your load better not perfectly but better um, pilot pressure feeds and sequencing so the shuttle valves particularly used on load sensing systems on mobile equipment and feeds the uh, pressure back to the pump so that the pump provides the pressure it needs to from the load and um, little sequencing sometimes you get some pilot sequencing systems so uh, shuttles are good for that so quite a range of uses really, I'm sure you can find a few more. Um, come on to the next stage, the next video for maintenance and design people, then we'll cover a bit more about the design and other features and characteristics within there.